What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be installing some new mirrors on my 2009 Corolla. The one mirror on the passenger side of my car is broken. The glass is broken and also the motor is not moving the, the lens. And then I also just bought a pair of them. They're fairly cheap. I only paid under $60 for both of these. Um, and they come with the plastic housing on the back too. So let's get started. And here's a look at the broken mirror. Um, it's got some hairline cracks down the middle here. And also this motor doesn't move the mirror anymore. So every time I'm driving, this thing is always just bouncing around. So that's why I want to replace it. This is also another reason why I wanted to change both instead of one. Because this is what the old one looks like. It's very discolored, like a gray black. And the new one, very nice shiny black. These are also going to be the tools you're going to need. Uh, 10 millimeter socket, a Phillips screwdriver, and a couple different picks to help you get the door panel off. All right, so first we're gonna have to take off the window handle, which there's like a, a C-clip behind the plastic here. Then we're gonna have to take off this cover. There's another cover here with a Phillips behind it. And then there's also a little cover under here with another Phillips screwdriver. All right, so after you get the panel popped up, I'm not gonna take the door panel all the way off because you can get access to the clip right there. Let's just unclip that and then there's three 10 millimeter bolts that will take off and then the mirror should slide right off. And something else I noticed when I was taking off my driver's side mirror is this one, how it looks like it's already been replaced it doesn't say anything about the defroster on it and then how many wires there are there's only three wires going into here well the newer one it says the defrost on it and also there's wires for the defroster Right now all we gotta do after we've got everything installed, we're just gonna snap the cap right back on and we should be done. All right, so this is the final product. That's pretty easy to install. If you got any questions, please leave them in the comments and thanks for watching.